Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, well, well, all the blockers removed because there's really pretty much no more blockers for moving ahead. Uh, for those that were still not seeing uh, versions of Windows 10, uh, that includes also people that were on version 2004 that didn't see that uh, the October 20 uh, 20 update, the uh, 20H2, it was available. Uh, all blockers are pretty much removed for everybody. So that means everybody is technically capable of being at the latest version, which will also be technically capable of being at 21H1 when it arrives. So a lot of you have been asking uh, still, you know, when is 21H1? Where is 21H1? Uh, look, within the next days, it's going to start showing up for those that are seekers. Once again, what's a seeker? A seeker is somebody that goes and checks Windows Update manually. Uh, it's an optional download and install. It's a small cumulative update, so it's a, not a big install. Uh, it's not out yet. Like I said, you can get it now if you go and enroll in the Insider program if you want. But uh, for the most part, you know, it doesn't contain really much. So I would just tell everybody, wait, you don't really need this right now. And you don't even have to install it uh, when it's officially available. Um, for the uh, future now, because uh, some of you have been asking me, saying, okay, well, um, they've removed the blockers, but could that connect and HD audio cause problems in the future and so on? Probably not, because since they mitigated that problem now, it means that they probably, moving forward, it's going to be probably going to be okay. Um, you know, I was seeing that it was going in that direction, because more and more people that had the connects and HD audio we're seeing the later the latest updates so um, I, I i could see that slowly they were moving ahead they probably made a change started showing it to some people to see if everything is all right and as the, the the update went well more and more people would see it and more and more people were actually uh, getting it and that's why they removed all the blockers so 21 h1 is the next target which will be coming out in the next days I mean, we are May 10th. Some people say it can match with the week of Patch Tuesday. Well, Patch Tuesday is tomorrow, May 11th. Uh, so that could be this week. But one thing for sure, it's this month. And at some point, uh, the seekers are going to start seeing it. And as soon as we actually see and hear about people that do, we are going to talk about it and uh, let everybody know that if you're a seeker, you can get it. And the next big target now is uh, 21H2. 21H2 is going to be the big thing with lots of changes. Uh, people have a hard time understanding that 21H2 is not a thing yet. And even the dev channel doesn't have all that 21H2 will eventually have in changes. It's a really big one. And with the, the Windows 10 X team going back to Windows 10, I think that's going to be um, things are going to be going faster. Um, so, you know, we're almost at the first update for this year, which is a small cumulative update, but then uh, the big update for the end of the year. Some people have been asking me, but with all the changes coming up, especially with the user interface, if that could add to some older computers being left off. Well, no, only at a certain point in time when Microsoft announces the machines that are compatible. Uh, usually when there's a feature update, um, coming up, Microsoft releases the minimum specs and minimum uh, information that, you know, minimum of, that your computer needs to have to run it. Um, you know, they've been pretty relaxed in the past couple of years. We really didn't have in much or in, in the way of, you know, machines or, or computers that were left off. Of course, that said, as time goes by, it's something that can happen because, you know, computers, as they get older, they lack some technologies that maybe they want to implement at some point. So we can't say that old computers are left off. They're not necessarily. And maybe all the computers that are running 21H1 will be able to move on to 21H2. But because of the big changes in the user interface, the big changes coming up, it would not be surprise a surprise for me that maybe some older machines with specific hardware might be told, well, here's where it ends, and we'll need something more recent to actually run it. 
But that we'll know probably only at the end of the summer, early fall, when all of this is getting um, you know close to release. And of course, we'll keep all of you up to date with all of this. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.